Inmates inside Citronelle's jail have a new look that is certainly getting people's attention. They're going pink, but not by choice. Local 15's Christian Jennings talked to the chief about why he chose that color. No missing it. It stands out. It certainly does. Starting this week, male and female inmates in Citronelle's jail wear bubblegum pink from head to toe. Prior to the pink transformation, inmates at this jail didn't wear uniforms at all. Police Chief Shane Stringer says that was becoming a problem. All of our inmates are misdemeanor offenses, and they are able to go out and work daily to work off their fines. And the, one of the minor problems we were having is contraband being snuck back into the jail. This will cut down on that because the, the uniforms do not have pockets. And just a couple months ago, police say 33-year-old Thomas Charles ran from a Citronelle officer while in custody on burglary charges. He was caught later that day, but Chief Stringer believes he could have been captured much faster. A citizen seen the escapee run, but didn't know he was an inmate. Now it's pretty easy to distinguish inmates from everyone else. Yes, it is a deterrent. Um, not too many of the guy inmates enjoy the pink. Just ask William Smith, who's serving 30 days behind bars. I'm incarcerated for an old fine. Several years ago, I didn't comply with a judge. He's not thrilled with the color, but is actually behind the idea. It's a little deterrent. Maybe uh, if, if people begin to stop and think that they're humiliated out in public a little bit, maybe they'll start con conferring with the court and getting things done. In Citronelle, Christian Jennings, Local 15 News.